I love this next one, the 21 suggestions for success, and we are at number 11. Commit yourself to constant improvement. So again, my hubby and I talked about this one. He's like, mm, not so much. He said, you know, I, I like the idea of just being content where I'm at, kind of slowing down. And I'm like, wow, that's, that's a really interesting perspective. You know, so he was being very honest hey, this is where I'm at. I just want to be content. Kind of put the oars in the canoe, lift him up out of the water, and just kind of be content. I was like, gosh, you know, that's a toughie for me. I, I don't do well with that. And I think there's something to be said for a balance of contentment. Here's who I am. Here's where I'm at. You know, not take it or like it, but just this is where I'm at. I don't have that. I just, I, that is hard for me to do. And I, I think that hurts me in some areas that I can't just be content. I, no, I'm a striving person. I am constantly striving to be better. I strive to create improvement in every area of my life. It's almost like there's this turbulence I don't think agitation would be the right word, but there's this turbulence. It's almost like this restlessness, ah, and it's there. It's like this constant current of this turbulence. It's, it's, and this is, I think this can be a, a detriment, you know, let's say it's with um, physical, you know. I am in a, a very good weight category. My BMI is exceptional and all this kind of a thing. Am I happy with it? No, not really. Mm, almost not by a long shot, actually. I have, in my view, massive room for improvement in my physical uh, fitness aspects and where I want to be health-wise. In some regards, I feel like I'm only 10% of the way of where I want to be. And so it's that agitation. Now, again, that would all be relevant to... Um, the areas in life that I want improvement in, but I just, I don't think I will ever relinquish this um, and go, okay, I'm, now I'm content. I, I just, it's not my nature. I'd have to work really, really hard to turn that around. So is it a suggestion for success? Um, I think with balance it is, and I don't know. Um, you know, the balance of that to that where you can just be happy and content with yourself. Like, hey, I'm at this weight, I'm at this level of fitness, and I'm content with that. Yeah, that's a good thing. Um, and I've heard people do that as they're like trying to fight the belly fat thing, which seems to hit right around midlife, by the way. And a friend of mine who had gotten me on a book called, um, it was called The Belly Diet or something like that. And I'm like, yes, I need that too. And finally, a year or two later, she said, you know what? No way. I'm tired of that. I'm going to accept who I am. And if I have to go up a gene size, I'm going to do that. I, I, I don't want to do that. Here's why. And I, I think it has to do with the, a law of physics that I remember so well from high school physics. It's called the law of entropy. The law of entropy that the universe tends towards disorder and chaos. So my view is if you're not rowing your boat upstream, if you're not working towards that ongoing improvement, you're going to end up downstream no matter what. You don't maintain status quo for long. You know, you put the oars in the boat and you can float around for just a little bit, enough for a respite, and then it's back out with those oars in the water for rowing upstream because otherwise I'm going to end up way downstream like AKA uh, becoming morbidly obese. Not that I'm afraid of that, but don't we see that? It's, that all happens in phases for someone to end up at becoming morbidly obese. They put the oars in the boat and they gave up. I just can't do that. The, the cost for me is way too high, converse to, if you even wanna call it, the sacrifice of constant improvement. I actually enjoy that space. 
the space of constant improvement. I like it. It energizes me. It's motivating. I like it. I actually, I'm fairly hooked on it. I'm always wanting to improve upon things. So I'm kind of sitting there with a scale like this. You go ahead and weigh in and tell me what you think in terms of this being a um, suggestion for success. And I look forward to seeing your comments. All right, on to the next video. I'll see you soon.